श्रीमती पल्लवी जोशी मत श्री विवेक अग्निहोत्रियों वेदिक मेले कहते श्री डॉक्टर एस एल भैरपुर वेदिक मेले कर्क बर ना गौतम कहते स्वल्प कुत सर Uh, so like anybody else, I had been also wondering how to 
put Mahabharat on cellulite. The biggest problem I faced was that most of the interpretations were making mythology bigger mythology. Everybody was competing to make it more miraculous and more spectacular and somewhere we forgot that Mahabharat is the consciousness of Bharat. There is nobody in this land whose consciousness is not affected by a Mahabharata. And I was looking for a very, very a real historical account of Mahabharata when I learned that Dr. Bharata has spent decades researching. He physically went to all those places. He calculated how many elephants, then how much crab, and who cleans it. All those kind of things he did which generally we miss out on. And Parv is a work which is necessary, I think it's compulsory for every human being because every single line is an insight into your own life, into your own being. And I said that how can I not do that? And I am grateful to uh, God, Sri Krishna. Uh, I am grateful to all the elders who gave us blessings that I am blessed that Dr. Bhairabha trusted us uh, with making of this film and we have decided to make this film not, I mean it's titled by Dr. S.L. Bhairabha's Parv, an epic tale of dharma. And I hope we shall be able to do justice to this and bring the soul and the essence of his book in, on cellulite and I hope this three part film will for centuries become a North Star, a guiding light whenever anybody has any question related to dharma so that it helps people build better lives and better future for a society. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a great honor to be sitting next to a living legend. I never dreamed that I would uh, ever see this day. But here we are, and uh, as happy as I am that we are making uh, Parva into a film, I also understand the mammoth responsibility that we have on our shoulders. It is not easy um, handling a subject like Parv, handling the vision that Bhairapaji has uh, created in this book. I have been on a, both Vivek and I have been on a, you know, a trip of self-exploration through our films. And I think uh, Parva might just sum it all, God willing. Uh, Parva, as Vivek told you, will be made in three parts, but we'll also be making this film in two languages, uh, English, uh, Hindi and uh, Kannada. And of course, uh, nothing of this is possible without uh, you know, having our great friend Prakash Bilawadi with us, he will be with us on the project throughout. So once again, thank you very much for coming here. I am uh, almost now, you know, thinking about how this project is going to shape up. And I hope the next time we meet you all, we'll have something complete on hands. Thank you very much for coming. Nano, Gautar, Gautam Chikarmane, or Delhi, the Natka Noda Ketan, Visheshwagi Bandidare. Or Tra Matinano, a Pallavi or Tra Matar Rakadri in the Herde. Now, one day on the one day on the Yale Hilti Nioga Kagi Krishna Dwai Pai and Nakarsita Satyoti Ambak Ambika Mate Ambali Kari or Dasi Herkota Yakana Dasi Nakarsipatil Tadaru or Dasi Herkade Nino Nanige Nanigagi in Nakarsipil. Other than Nanege, you got Mogua Buddha in Ninda Nana Nana Hotel Rutuba Mago Suta Gudu Nanege Style Nodo Ninige Nina Nina Nodoiga Nino Satyoti of Maga, other Parasha Nige Buddha in Danino Nino Brahmana Tatiani Other Nana Nana Mogu Utu Kshatriya Tagodila Adike Nino, in the Mago Utu Mele, 
ತಾವೊಂದು ತಾಯಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿನ ಮಗುನ ನೋಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕಾಯ್ತು ಆ ಅವಧಿ ಮುಗಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದು ನನ್ನ ಮಗುನ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡು ನನ್ನ ಮಗು ಸೂತ ಆಗೋದು ನನಗೆ ಇಷ್ಟ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅವನೇನು ಮಾಡೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾನು ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದ್ವೈಪಾಯನ ನಂತರ ಋಷಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದ್ವೈಪಾಯನ ವಿಷಾದನಿಂದ ನೆನಪು ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ನನಗೆ ಮದುವೆ ಆಗದಿದ್ದರೆ ವಿದುರ ನನ್ನ ಮಗ ಆಗ್ತಿದ್ದ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾನೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರೋ ಆ ಥರ ಈ ಈ ಅಲ್ಲಿಯ ರೆಬಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಯಾರು ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ದೆ ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸಬಾಲ್ಟನ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಡಿನೈಡ್ ಏಜೆನ್ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಡಿನೈಡ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡ್ರಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈಟೇಷನ್ ನಾನು ಸಮಯ ಹೆಚ್ಚು ತೊಗೊಳ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಭೈರಪ್ಪ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಒಂದೆರಡು ಮಾತಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಕೇಳ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಿಜವಾದ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋದು 
ಅದು ಇಡೀ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಕ್ಕೆ ಅದನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸ್ಬೋದು ಇದು ಪುಸ್ತಕ ರೂಪದೊಳಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನೊಳಗೂ ಆಗಿದೆ ಚೈನೀಸ್ ನೊಳಗೂ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ರಷ್ಯನ್ ಭಾಷೆಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ಫಿಲಮ್ನಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಇದು ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಇದು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ನನ್ನ ಕೂಡ ನಂಬಿಕೆ ಇದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರವಾಗಿ ನಾನಿದಕ್ಕೆ ನನ್ನ ಒಪ್ಪಿಗೆಯನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ನನ್ನ ಹಾರೈಕೆ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇನೆ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ so uh, yeah so prakash pelavri ji is a co-writer with me and a guide and uh, he will he's like uh, we are going to be like husband and wife for next few years so we will fight a lot and we'll create some we'll also reproduce a nice baby so, <laughs> so uh, yes uh, uh, as of now as of today uh, we have decided to make it in kannada and hindi but i am also there is new technologies now coming up very fast because of artificial intelligence so we are very seriously i have already for my last film i tried with tamil and telugu languages if uh, the technologies are developed in next one or two years then i also plan to uh, have original language in english and spanish because this great work it should be seen not just by english speaking people but also by uh, spanish speaking the entire latin america so and second second largest spoken language yes yeah, second largest spoken language and so that is what we would like to do and if you guys bless us uh, uh, with the blessing of dr bhairappa who knows maybe it will be uh, done in chinese and japanese and russian uh, why not uh, so this is a uh, great dharmic work for us uh, we do not consider it like just any other film perhaps uh, i might end up spending uh, uh, all my spiritual energy creative energy into making this i was telling my friend yesterday that this perhaps looks like it will be my last work he said no no there are so many stories you need to tell i said what will be left to tell after this story so <laughs> i don't think there's any other story which should be left to tell after this so on this note if you have any questions please you can ask or then or we can post for photos or whatever you want sir sarda you can express that definitely there's an inspiration uh, a lot of it there's always something inspires to do something what inspired vivek and pallavi to do parva um I think what uh, what uh, thought uh, when did this come through like see uh, as far as the stories of the great stories and the story of mahabharat is concerned you don't need any inspiration and motivation i believe that uh, we were born to do this uh, pallavi's mother has sung the entire geeta and in how many volumes in 16 volumes and uh, i had always been wanting to do this uh, all my life uh, so there is no inspiration required for this uh, but yes uh, when dr bhairappa blessed us and he said okay you should make it um, after that all you need is blessings of the people what are the challenges do you anticipate in making parva i'm sure it's No, I don't think there is any challenge which can't be overcome. There are going to be challenges. So the first challenge is that the first thing immediately after this press conference, media is going to speculate who's going to be starring in it. So my answer is Krishna, Arjun, Bhish, Dhrishtash, Kunti. They are going to star in this. Nobody is bigger than them. So I would request you also to keep it at that level uh, because let's not convert it into a commodity. Let's not convert it into a race of Okay, one other film is coming. So, who's going to cast in it? How big business is going to do when it is releasing? Let's not get into all that. It's, that's why I am launching it in uh, Bangalore, Bangalore, uh, because Kannada media is very different from Bombay uh, media. So, that is one of the reasons. And I, it's a absolutely dharmic work, and there is no other intention behind this. Prakash Belwadi, I think.
ನಾವು ಟಾಶ್ಕೆಟ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನನ್ನ ಕರ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಸಿದ್ರು ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಎ ಲಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಪೊಲಿಟಿಕಲಿ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿ ವಿ ಡಿಬೇಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಶ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಮೆರಿಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಭಾರತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿವೇಕ್ ಜಿ ಪಲ್ಲವಿ ಐ ಎನ್ ಅನುಭವ್ ಜಿ ಸೆವ್ರಲ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಹೋ ದೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಐ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಕಶ್ಮೀರ್ ಫೈಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಮೋಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಮೋಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಪೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಸೊ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆಪ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕೆಪ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇವೆಂಚುಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ವರ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿ ಟು ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಎ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿವೇಕ್ ಜಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಮೆಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿತ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಭೈರಪ್ಪ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಸಿಟಿ ಕ್ವಾ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ವಾಯಿಟ್ಲಿ ಐ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೈನ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾವು ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವೇರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಓವರ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಐ ಟು ಇಟ್ ಸೆರಿಮೋನಿಯಲಿ so that is the that is the dra- that is the drama script that is being played out now after this press conference it will open this is the play we are doing it will have many mistakes and corrections and all that but i would say that this is for me the first text i will start with you know working with them it shape it into something uh, pra- he is asking if i'll be acting in a movie he so. said okay that i'm going to decide after watching the play <laughs> just kidding just kidding no but I mean, but, but uh, for that there is a problem i'm i'm actually just standing in for somebody so i'm not going to act well i'm telling you already okay, okay sir uh, prakash sir uh, you have also written the screenplay for the uh, uh, you know play which is going to be uh, so uh how what are the challenges of translating a, a, a screenplay for a play to the screenplay of a film uh, does it help or does it add more confusion no i think in terms of getting different time spaces you know organized can be a start it can be helpful but i think to translate from the english uh to to any other language in indian language will be a problem but you must understand it will not be full of words and talking as in a play that is the challenge but so when when uh, when vivek ji starts to work on it to break it down into a film script see the timeline of a film can be very close to the timeline of of theater but stories are told through exchange of dialogue in in, in dialogue in cinema it need not be like that see the novel is many times streams of consciousness but that you can't use on a play so you can use that as monologues but too many monologues can be boring but to do away with it is also wrong so we've tried to find a balance in the play we'll have to find a different kind of balance in film which is not just spoken cinema and the drishya madhyam are the challenge as to it sir ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಅದು ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಯಾರು ನಮ್ಮ ಈಗ ನೋಡಿ ಟೆಕ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬರೆದಾಗ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಅನ್ಬಾರ್ದು ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಅದು ಓಕೆ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಪ್ಲೇ ಬರೆದಾಗ ಯಾರನ್ನೋ ಮನಸ್ಸಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬರೆಯೋದಿದೆ ಇಂಥವ್ರು ಇವಾಗ ಇಂಥವ್ರು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೀರೋ ಆರ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೀರೋಯಿನ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಟು ಸೂಟ್ ಹರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೀ ಸೆ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ಸೂಟ್ ಕುಂತಿ ಟು ಸೂಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ no that is how it will be it will not be written to suit any actor mahabharata anadu ella bhagavigu andre so ella actors alli cinema alli nodbodu ella bhagavigu actors alli otherwise particularly hindi matte kannada alli maatra tagolthira hege so an interesting question she is asking since you know mahabharata is a tale of or a collection of tales of bharata would you have representation from all all the states in the casting of just hindi and uh, kannada um see uh, i hmm? yeah it's very difficult to say at this stage and we do not the kind of 
See, uh, we do not like to fabricate things just to appease everyone. We are in fact against appeasement. So we believe whoever deserves, whoever suits, uh, should be there. Uh, in, in Karnataka, there are some fantastic actors and if you are making in Karnataka language also, obviously somebody or more people are definitely going to feature from here. In my mind, I have never seen the India or Bharat like North and South and East and West. That's why you see in my film, we don't even think who's from which region. Whoever suits, we cast that person. <laughs> ನಿಮಗೆ <laughs> ಇದನ್ನು ಒಪ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಕಾರಣ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾ ಹಿಂದೆ ಯಾರು ಕೇಳಿಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ವಾ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದಾರ ಒಂದು ಒಂದ್ ಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಗೆ ತೋರಿಸಕ
ಅದರಿಂದ ಒಂದು ತರದೊಳಗೆ ಅವನು ಒಂದು ತರ ಸೆಕ್ಸಿ ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ಏನು ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ರಾಹು ಇದನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಮಂದಿರದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದದ್ದು ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದರ ಸಂಗೀತ ಇರಬೇಕು ಆ ಸಂಗೀತ ಅವರು ಹಾಡಬೇಕು ಆ ಸಂಗೀತಕಾರ ಅದನ್ನು ಹಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಡುವಂಥವ್ರು ಇವಾಗ ಯಾರು ಇಲ್ಲವೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹಿಂದಿನ ಕಾಲದೊಳಗೆ ಸಂಗೀತ ನಾಟಕ ಇದನ್ನ ಇದು ನಾಟಕ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಅದ್ರ ಅದ್ರವ್ರು ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಕೂಡ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹಾಡುವಂಥವ್ರೇ ಇರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನಮ್ಮ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬಹುದು ಹೊನ್ನಪ್ಪ ಭಾಗವತರು ಅಂತ ಇದ್ರು ಅವರು ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹಾಡ್ತಿದ್ರು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಭಾಗವತ ಭಾಗವತರು ಅನ್ನುವ ಹೆಸರೇ ಅಂತ ಬಂತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅವ್ರು ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸಂಗೀತಗಾರರು ಅಂತವ ಗುಬ್ಬಿ ಕಂಪ್ನಿಲಿ ಅಂಥವ್ರನ್ನೇ ಅಂತ ಇದು ಮಾಡೋರು ಹೀರೋ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಬರೀ ನಾನ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರು ಹಾಡುವಂತ ಶಕ್ತಿನೂ ಬೇಕು ಇದು ನಮ್ಮ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಇರುವುದೇ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಮರಾ ಮರಾಠಿಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಸಂಗೀತ ಇದು ಒಬ್ಬ ಯಾರು ಯಾರಿಗೆ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಸಂಗೀತ ಹಾಡಕ್ ಬರೋಲ್ವ ಅವ್ರನ್ನ ಥಿಯೇಟ್ರ್ ತಗೋತಾನೆ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಗೀತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೀಯ ಸಂಗೀತ ರಿವೈವಲ್ ಆದದ್ದು ನಾಟಕದವ್ರ ಮೂಲಕವಾಗಿ ಏನಯ್ಯ ಆ ರೀತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇದೆ ಇತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾತಕ್ಕೂ ಅದು ಆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗಲೂ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹಾಡುವಂತ ಇವ ಇವನೇ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೇಳುವಂತ ಇವರು ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬೇಕಾದಂತ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ತಪ್ಪೆ ಇದಿಲ್ಲ ಅಸಾಧ್ಯ ಅಂತ ಏನಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರೆ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಸಂಗೀತಕ್ಕೆ ಪ್ರೋತ್ಸಾಹ ಕೊಡುವಂತ ಆಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವರನ್ನ ರಿವೈವಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಈ ನಾಟಕದ ಮೂಲಕವಾಗಿಯೇ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ನಾಟಕಕ್ಕೆ ಅಂತ ಪವರ್ ಇದೆ ಅದು ಅದು ಬೇಕಾದದ್ದು ಮುಖ್ಯವಾದದ್ದೇನು ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಬೇಕು ತುಂಬಾ ದುಡ್ಡು ಖರ್ಚಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಬೇಕು ಯಾಕೋ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಆ ತರ ಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡೋರಿಲ್ಲ ಮಹಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರದೊಳಗೆ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತರುಗಳು ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಗೀತ ಪ್ರೇಮಿಗಳು ಅವರು ಅವ್ರು ಬೇಕಾದದ್ದು ಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಕೋಟಿ ಗಟ್ಟಲೆ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಇದಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಇದ ಈ ಮಾಡುವಂತ ಒಂದ್ ಶೋಕ್ ಇದೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದೊಳಗೆ ಅದಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಸಂಗೀತದೊಳಗೂ ಹಿಂದೆ ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಯಾವ ಸಂಗೀತ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆ ಇದು ಇವತ್ತು ಕೂಡ ಅದರೊಳಗೆ ಸವಾಯಿ ಕಂದರವರು ಪುಣ್ಯತಿಥಿ ಅಂತ ಅನ್ನೋ ಹೆಸರಿನೊಳಗೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಕೂಡ ಅವ್ರು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸಂಗೀತ ಕಲಿಯುತ್ ನಮ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿರೋರೆಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉತ್ತರ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿರುವಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ದೊಡ್ಡ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಸಂಗೀತಗಾರರೆಲ್ಲನು ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಕಂಡ್ರು ಅಲ್ಲೇನೆ ಸೆಟ್ಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಕಲಿಯೋಕ್ಕೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲೇ ಯಾತಕ್ಕ ಆಗ್ತು ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತರುಗಳಿಗೆ ಆ ತಲೆನೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ರೊಳಗೆಲ್ಲ ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ದುರದೃಷ್ಟ See, we, right now we are just planning to write, shoot, and whenever we, are, we think we have done our best, we'll release it. This is not a project which can be uh, done with deadlines in six months or one year. It will take whatever time it takes. Uh, the only thing I can tell you is that we are shooting all three parts in one go. It's not that we do one, then second, then third. We'll shoot all of them in one go. I don't call it historical, I call it eternal uh, story. So, uh, yeah, and it's not mythology. Okay, it's a debate. Uh, I think this, this film, this already Parv has answered that, but this work should answer whether Mahabharat is history or mythology. See,
the, you know, consider this to be made into a film. Because the kind of films that you see uh, coming up these days, it was, I think, a very big decision on our part uh, uh, to sit down and think that we could, we should be able to do something like Parva for Indian cinema. I think that was the biggest challenge. It, the first challenge starts from there. And I think bigger challenges will follow because this is such a wonderfully uh, written work. So it has to be translated correctly in cinema. So everything, right from uh, the writing to the sets to getting the makeup and the costumes and casting the correct actors, everything is going to prove to be a challenge for this film. And one thing I just want to uh, uh, also in the same context, I would like to say, these days, see what happens is, and this is my very humble request to you, because I am a filmmaker, you are from media, but besides that, we are all Bharti and we are human beings. So it's a very humble request to you. See, it's a, we are moving in a world where everything is a spectacle. Okay, big, bigger, biggest. And therefore, what has happened is the minute you think of some subject like this, people start talking about how many hundred crores, uh, the budget would be, what VFX we'll get, who's the biggest VFX company and normally we think in terms of VFX and everything. Uh, very honestly I want to tell you, for last one year I've been living it almost every single day. Not even once the word VFX has occurred before today in my mind. Not even once. Because the text is so compelling, the book of Dr. Bhairappa, the characters, the monologues, everything is so compelling that when you say our biggest challenge is how to present them like human beings and how to make it as real and as life-centric as possible. Beautiful. See, I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm saying it in English so that Vivek Ji also gets it. There's a, but there's a point where Droda explains to Ekalavya why his thumb had to be cut. He says, the problem was, you know, you were a Shabdavedi and by, you know, you could locate the prey by, your, by the sense of sound itself. But the problem was, the arrows that you shot were sure and swift. That is fine. But we saw, my students saw that they were metal tipped. And that is why Bhishma said, you have to do something about this, because if the forest tribes can acquire technology of metal tipped arrows, you know, they will, we will lose the advantage of superior technology. Look at that idea of technology and arrows multiplying themselves in air, traveling like cruise missiles, okay? That is why the imagination of budget here has to be oriented in a human-centric way. This is about human conflict. And this is not written speculatively. It's done with a lot of research. Actually, I want to say one more thing. And you know, I haven't taken your permission, but I want to say this. See, the Wikipedia describes the Mahabharata as a Hindu epic. It is as silly as calling Oedipus a Christian play. It is senseless. It makes no sense. It is. It is not from a period where you can make such references. Which is why I am saying, this is a story of Bharata. It's a story of the human kind. Because as Bharata was everything that is represented in Mahabharata, if you take it as, it's a very large area. There's a soldier who says, you know, for, for us to go back to our homeland, we have to cross Gandhara, Kandahar, we have to cross in more. That is the kind of sweep, sweep of reference it has. So we must treat it as a, as a story of humanity and the follies that we humans make, of the compromises we make with ourselves and with others, you know, how we break and make contracts. So you should see it as that. Really, that doesn't require money. It requires as much money as doing this play, I'm telling you. For a play that is very expensive, for a film, it's not so expensive. And I hope, I'm so happy that he said that thing about VFX. I hope we don't have all that nonsense in the film. <laughs> Correct.